Yeah. Madam Speaker, the Children's Advocates Report number one recommendation is to reduce school absenteeism. This is an important recommendation, in part because children and youth who are not in school are a primary target for those who want to lure children and youth into using drugs and being sexually exploited. Reducing absenteeism can help young people get an education, can reduce the use of drugs like meth, and can reduce sexual exploitation. Can the Minister of Education today tell us, on average, how many children are absent from school each day in Manitoba? The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Madam Speaker, uh, the member is not incorrect, nor is the child's advocate. Uh, absenteeism, of course, not only do students do better, of course, when uh, they're in school, uh, but it does have a trickle-down effect when it comes to ensuring that uh, there's protection from those who should be in school who might otherwise be vulnerable when they're not. Uh, it has an impact on, uh, on crime. Uh, when, the, uh, when the attendance rate is better, Madam Speaker, uh, than it currently is, uh, it is uh, one of the first things that I uh, spoke to my department about becoming minister, and we are looking at uh, a variety of different ways to improve the absentee rate in Manitoba. The Honourable Member for River Heights on a supplementary question. Yeah, Madam Speaker, the Children's Advocate makes it clear, and I quote, the province, that is the minister, has a responsibility to ensure that children attend school. How can the province fulfill its responsibility if the minister doesn't even know the extent of absenteeism in Manitoba? Why is the minister not up to speed on his files? Based on what we know, this number is likely in the thousands. What is the minister doing today to provide alternatives to expulsions and suspensions of students and to meet his responsibility to ensure children in our province are going to school? Good question. The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Uh, Madam Speaker, it is one of the first things uh, that I addressed with the department in looking for better data and better information in terms of absenteeism. Uh, where it's most impacted in the province, the steps that have been taken to date. Uh, certainly, of course, we have a, a review that's happening now with the K-12 Commission. This issue has been referred uh, to them, but I also know that there are steps that can be taken uh, while we await uh, their good work as well, Madam Speaker. And uh, we are uh, looking at uh, a variety of systemic ways to try to help this problem. There's a number of different pilot projects that are going on, but I do think there needs to be a more systematic approach. The Honourable Member for River Heights on a final supplementary. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, reducing absenteeism in Manitoba is too important to wait for the Minister's usual study and stall approach. Surely reducing absenteeism is too important to wait for another school year to pass. Indeed, it is too important to wait at all. Much attention has been paid in the last two days to the fact that the Children's Advocate has identified 17 at-risk children. I ask today, are all of these children attending school today? Is the Minister of Education doing his job? The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, certainly we are not waiting, uh, Madam Speaker. There have been pilot projects that have been undertaken uh, even quite recently that have uh, been undergone. We know that there's work that's happening in certain divisions like Seven Oaks which has reduced uh, absenteeism, Madam Speaker, but we are looking at a more uh, systemic approach and how can we ensure that throughout the system there are things that are being done together but also being done in common uh, that may not be happening now, Madam Speaker. I appreciate the members raising these uh, questions because they are important questions. Uh, I wouldn't want to try to make uh, politics of this, uh, Madam Speaker, and I'm not suggesting that he is, uh, but there are certainly things that are happening now to try to address what is a very complex problem, Madam Speaker. Right.